Pisces, welcome. Doing your heart spread read. This is for December 2021. Uh, here, uh, we're living infamy, I'm sure. <laughs> um, seventh house is Pisces. Neptune is conjunct Venus for me in my natal chart. I'm an astrologer too. And when you have a planet like Neptune on your Venus, it typically gives it a little flavor of the uh, uh, Neptune, the planet. Uh, whatever planet's slower in a conjunction basically will have a, a strong influence over the uh, uh, faster moving planet Venus here. So, you know, I'm familiar with the Pisces energy. Uh, kind of what I look for in relationship. Got a Pisces moon girl, no accident. <laughs> uh, amazing. Uh, temperance card for you. This is the Sagittarius card and it's the Jupiter card here. Uh, Pisces, Jupiter, and Aquarius right now. It's going to be flaming through Pisces next year. Coming up, it's supposed to be uh, uh, quite an auspicious transit. Uh, Jupiter moving faster than ever. Um, so, um, this is you being patient, you know, it's hard for me to relate because as a Sagittarius, I've always wondered um, how can we be called patient or not? But what this is, is feeling just everything is balanced, everything is good, you don't have any problems, there's no red flags, no fires put out, there's no drama in your life, and so you're just in a really good place. And I gotta say, it could speak to Sagittarius in your chart, it could definitely speak to Jupiter in your chart. Um, getting up to Aquarius right now um, but it's a great a way to come into a relationship and that's kind of how I read this how are you coming in here you have the Virgo card the Hermit um, and this is um, showing where they're at in terms of love and relationship right now and so you would literally be dealing with someone who is in the Hermit mode and you see this card represents a well looking down um, I like it, you know, if they're in the hermit mode, you put yourself there, it's a spiritual person. This often shows an angel in many decks, you know, the rider weight even. So, with temperance energy, I believe you have two spiritually minded people here. Um, your person's been doing the good work, they've been pointing their finger at themselves. Um, so, they're not coming in with a lot of baggage. They're coming in, they're not going to be projecting. When you're in the hermit energy, you don't so much project because you're owning your shit. So you're not just like it. So if you talk to this person, they won't be saying to you, well, she da-da-da and he da-da-da. They will be talking <clears throat> about the, well, I, the way I did it, you know, um, focusing on themselves, which is act actually very perfect. Um, I don't see where you guys would have met on a dating site. So whoever this is, because um, neither of you, uh, this is energy where you're going to be uh, really looking for that other person and, um, needing and wanting, you know, a love. I don't feel that. You both seem like you're fairly balanced in different ways. Um, you would be more open. Temperance is very open to receiving. And so this person would be in their cave. So you would be, if you haven't thought of this already, you would be the one Pisces that's going to have to probably go to them, okay? If it is a twin flamer, um, you would be the activator. 100% they would be the sleeper. But this would be a sleeper that's ready. They've been doing the work, spiritual work looking at themselves, the shadow work, maybe astrology, who knows, cross watcher could be there because this is uh, someone that might be open to the eighth house and esoteric advice. Now, this shows where you're at in terms of love and relationship towards them. How are you feeling about this person really when you start reacting to them? And the fool, it's kind of an interesting fool card. Uh, I'm wondering now, though I need to change this, but I, I don't want to, because it, with this, it's like, oh my God, what have I done, uh, fool? But no, when you have temperance, I said you're ready. Like, this is the energy just where you're at in terms of love and relationship. So, uh, you're cool, you're doing your own thing, you're doing you, it's great energy. Uh, you're looking good, it's Jupiter, it's fire, it's positive. Um, but you're, you know, you're ready to just take the leap. And with this person, I feel like you want to take the leap. You feel like this just one. They make your heart pitter-patter. They make you just kind of want to go for it. Kind of uh, in in terms of like even like making love. This could be they send you to places with the fool energy where you just kind of lose track of time and space. That could be really yummy energy. It's like when you're with them, you're in this little bubble where it's just nice and 
beautiful and all is well in the world, you know, um, and you just kind of want to fall into that energy and be with him. Um, you know, it could have a, um, well, what we'll see as we go along, you know, with that energy would kind of be a fool for them because it would, it would be, uh, like, uh, the Piscean idea of addiction and stuff. It would be something that, uh, gives you that kind of dopamine rush. It feels so good and you would probably want more and more of it. You know, that kind of thing could be. Let's see how they're reacting to you with the Nine of Cups. So... This is interesting. What they're showing to you is uh, they're ba they are also emotionally balanced. They 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 don't need you. They don't want you. It's kind of interesting. Now I come to see that for a minute. And this is their energy towards you. How are they feeling? This is your energy. How how are you feeling? Um, and the way you might I was wondering why this fool looks like a little like oh no. It's because the way they're receiving you is like as a bachelor. So. They're not receiving you with the energy of like, oh my God, you're my soulmate, Pisces. Oh my God, I love you. I want to marry you. Um, they may be interested in you, showing an interest. Now, remember I told you, I think you're going to have to go to them if this is going to work. I don't know if it's going to work, but let's see. Um, <clears throat> because they're kind of in their cave, you know. But so in a way, you could say this is looking at you. They are looking into the reading. I like that. And... Um, so that means they must have come out of their cave and they're taking a look. So they have an interest, you know. Um, you see their backs turn, you know, to the reading. So it's like they're deep into themselves. They're doing them, you know. And I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. It's not like they're selfish or anything. Kind of are selfish because, you know, I've been there for years and years now. It's because they're focusing on themselves and getting themselves together, you know. Um, but the fact that they got the nine chalices at all, well, it's like a, it, that is a selfish energy. It's, uh, I'm okay, I'm, you don't need anyone, I'm emotionally fulfilled. I always say, though, when you have the Nine of Cups, now you can have the Ten of Cups. So this could be someone that's more open to love and a permanent relationship, fulfilling emotional relationship, Ten of Cups. Then maybe they're letting on even to themselves. And uh, keep in mind, they are interested in you, you know, these emotions, Cups. So there's emotion there for you. Um... And um, keep that in mind as we go ahead. That seems important. Ace of Wands. Uh, this is your advice from Spirit Pisces and how to deal with them best in this relationship. And what this tells me is, yes, there is a relationship. You are being advised to deal with them. And I keep telling you, you're going to have to go to them. So this is going to them. This is also a phallus. It's lost sexual energy. Um, if... if you're afraid to like express this kind of energy um, just passionate sexual energy um, spirits saying go for it Spirit saying initiate this is ace of wands you initiate a relationship with them now assuming they're adults there's nothing wrong with you saying I'd like to get it on emperor now this is the advice from spirit for your person and how to deal with you now, if there's a cross watcher here, and I feel like there could be with this reading, this is coming under the way you feel about this Pisces, this Nine of Cups, um, and advice from the Emperor Aries energy. And you got to think, too, also, this advice is across from their advice, which is also fire. You see, this is Aries, it's fire. Um, but again, it's kind of this selfish, self-contained energy. And so Spirit's telling them, you know, um, don't lose yourself in this relationship. I think that's what this is about, guys. It just hit me. So, what they may have learned in hermit mode, if there's a cross watcher, please feel free to comment. I love it. Um, if you, as in this self-knowledge, in this looking at self, you've noticed that emotionally you give yourself away in a relationship you love too much. There's obsessive behavior and stuff like that. Um, and maybe, I got to tell you, Pisces, what they see with you is they kind of see that happening. I don't think it's happening because you're coming in with temperance. It's just they turn you on. But, you know, they're still in the hermit mode. And because they've had this issue before with emotionally giving too much, and it's not just giving too much, it's letting, they don't want to let people in where they can really hurt them. And that's the emperor. 
The emperor is the one that they're going to hold fast no matter what. And this is advice from spirit. But the emperor is looking at your mm, ace of wands. So um, there is definitely something here. Um, and the ace of wands looking away. But I do think that you're the one that's going to have to initiate here. And your Ace of Wands coming under the Fool. I mean, if the Ace of Wands under the Fool doesn't mean just do it, I don't know what does. That's just do it, you know? Whoever figured out Nike, they might, that's what they would have had. That would have been their reading. Oh, we don't want to. I do count the bottom of the deck, though, so. Uh, see the Eight of Cups here. Eight of Swords, I mean. Um, energy. And it's kind of like this picking up some Eight of Swords energy, too. So the way they're reacting to you has really got you in a tither, Pisces. You know, and I think what's going on here, I don't know if they know, but I bet you they know if you were to talk to them or if they're watching, the kind of what's going on here. Um, um, I think you're just right for them, actually, but they're very triggery and um, they're scared and they still want to stay in their cave. I know, and I know this energy. It's like after you get, it's really hard to get into, and it's you got to do it. Some people never do this, and God help you. Um, but it can be hard to get out of once you kind of get used to it. Knight of Swords. Now, interesting, Knight of Swords. This is your advice from Spirit for the relationship as a whole. It's the crux of the heart spread, the core of the reading, I like to say, right at the bottom of the heart. And um, very important, and it's, it's, it is going towards you. So there's something spirits advising that they're going to have to communicate more with you. And being a knight is actions, and this is kind of on them. And I think what may help them communicate with you, if you know kind of how relationships work, um, they could be kind of like telling you in a way, I'm not telling you to force yourself on them, but they could, in, they could be telling, you know, I need some time or slow it down. I'm not really saying that, but giving you that energy. But your advice is to kind of like um, keep going, keep going, be yourself, pour it on, even be sexual. And um, this uh, is about love. But their advice is, and I think this will, if you do this, this will get them to talk, to talk about this. Because what they're doing with the hermit and Virgo's crazy, you know, should be the most articulate sign, but they're not usually. <clears throat> particularly when it comes to feelings, not cups. So they may not know how to really talk about this. And with the emperor too, the advice is that they need to keep their strength. It's good for them to be strong. It's good for them not to give themselves away. So what you need to show them is that you can have an orgasm, which is a little death, and you can have a passionate romance and relationship and love, and you don't have to lose yourself in it. You can still be yourself here, cross watcher. But they're going to have to open up and talk to you about this. So you need, what it, What really the Knight of Swords is saying is you desperately need a heart-to-heart -heart talk. Sit down and really talk about this, which I don't think has been done. And your person has to open up. I want to say some people are not going to be popular, but not, not going to be popular. But, you know, a great time to do this sometimes with people like this who are a little locked up is after you make love when you're in that sweet spot and you're laying there together um it's kind of like you know it, it has to be sincere obviously not seem to be manipulative that's the time when they could be they're emotionally the most open right and you look them in the eyes you're a few inches away and maybe you say you know i really love you and i need you to talk to me about what's going on with you because you know, i'm here for you i want to i want to know what's going on and i'm sorry but i gotta try to kill the mosquitoes Peace and love, but not to mosquitoes. Um, and I think that they will open up and talk to you. I got the feeling. It's very hard for them. And I think as you do this, it's very important to say, look, I, I don't want to control you. I, I don't want to consume you. I don't want to take that over you. I'm just here for you. I really love you. And there's nothing to fear here. Uh, and help them to kind of open up a little bit, not be so closed. My God, and you got the hair font as the outcome, guys. So, Pisces, uh, it's hard for me not to see this, uh, that this talk and opening things up, it's going to lead to marriage, frankly. 
I think you have a marriage here. So please do invite me. I probably won't go, but I'm dying to be invited to a marriage that I called in a tarot reading for someone. So I might. I mean, if it's in Mexico, I might. And uh, do uh, share if you uh, resonate. If you can think of any platforms to share this on. Appreciate it. Like, thumbs up, comments. I love to get comments. And do subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you, guys.